The turmoil on the other side of the globe is hitting home with international students. Yeah, a number of graduate students at Vanderbilt are from Afghanistan. And News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald sat down with a new student who says this month has been trying. Settling into Nashville, Abdul Basit Amiri expected to be a little difficult. It's my first time that I'm in a graduate studies, but in person in the U.S. He did not expect an unsettled Afghanistan to be a reason why. When I came to Nashville on 5th August, I didn't believe that everything will change suddenly in the country. Since leaving Afghanistan to study as a Fulbright scholar at Vanderbilt University, the Taliban seized most of his country, reversing progress there. I have seen many uh, women businesses. They were very happy. They could um, gain uh, or increase their incomes. And they, they were helping others because they were appointing other women to, help, to work with them. But now, the women are not allowed to go out to, to go to, your, to their jobs. The graduate student is worried most about his family. Some relatives tried for 40 hours to board evacuation flights and were unsuccessful. My older brother uh, and his family was in the airport. I couldn't sleep for two nights because I was wondering what will happen. Amiri feels guilty at times. If I were in Afghanistan, maybe there would be the probability that I could help to evacuate them because I had good networks. As a Fulbright scholar, he is obligated to return to his country when his studies are complete. My aim was to fight, the, to come back and catch a decision-making position to fight um, the instability, the uh, administrative corruption, uh, and also to fight the sexual harassment in the government and non-government organizations. Although difficult, Amiri isn't giving up hope for his future or for his families. We're always praying and my family is praying. The only thing for now we have. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Thank you, Hannah. According to reports, members of the Taliban have said they will allow Afghans with proper travel authorization to leave the country. However, many are skeptical.